What's going on YouTube? It's your buddy Will from the What's Up in the Sky 37 channel. We're online at www.whatsupinthesky.com and you were looking at a uh, Sol 530 from the Curiosity rover. Some more pictures have just downloaded as the rover comes through and what seemed to look like this, this reminds me out of a scene right out of Puma Punku, right out of one of the uh, Ancient Alien uh, episodes that show all these blocks just kind of thrown around. I mean, talk perfectly cut blocks. Now, Perfect. I've got some people wanting, you know, said, where's the perfect cut blocks? Perfect 90 degree angles on these. Also, what uh, seem to be ornate stuff up here. Look at this right here, what we've got up here. This is just kind of shaved out perfectly. Here, this is a typical trait at Puma Punku. There's like a, there's a, a shaved out notch here that looks like it's, uh, Looks like it's been shaved recently. It doesn't look like it's been weathered too much. And then a, a sheer cut off of it. Um, and just even in general here with some of these things having these marks in them like they've been, uh, like they were connected at one point. Interesting stuff on this one. Also, uh, just some of the stuff down here. There's a little trinket, trinket down here. It looks like it's got some sort of uh, effigy of a person into it. A lot of little things we're going to look at this picture. Let me show you where I got it from. And I think this uh, was put out by Goran. I forget how to say his name, but he's uh, one of the guys on the Mars Anomaly Research Society. Great page. All sorts of good stuff out there for uh, if you guys are interested in this kind of stuff. Um, also, it seemed to be... Uh, people have been telling me that there are small, small beings on the planet now. And... Uh, Small is where maybe something like that right there would be the head of one of them. Something small, we're talking, like, you know, small beings. Just interesting stuff here. Let me show you where I get it. Even though all you got to do is check the description, you're going to find it down in the description. I always link everything up. Oh, let's see. Looks like I just, uh, that just bombed out. So, either way, you saw it. Check the link below. You're going to see where it's at. And uh, let's go ahead and go through this right here. All right, so I got to come back up. There we are. This is the page to get it from. But like I said, just check the description below. If you're on Facebook, just open this up in YouTube. Or if you're on one of those other things, you'll find the, you'll find the link directly under. Go to my website. It'll be under there too. Now, there's also this thing out here we're looking at. It looks like a perfect box anomaly. Let's see if we can't do some adjusting on our own. Let's try the auto tone button see what happens. I always like to try that first, see if we get a nice look to it. A very dark look on this one. You don't get much uh, brightness from it. Let me see if I can pull that back out. Well, it's not too bad. Step forward. And let me see if we can give it a little bit of exposure, some brightness contrast. Just maybe get a little better look at some of these. So. Look at that way up there with the brightness way up there um, that'll do that'll do for right now off you see uh, here here's a distance we're looking at something here it almost looks like a uh, let me pull it up a little bigger it looks like a piece of something like this over here that's just been broken off it's got an off colored uh, purplish type sphere right here it looks like it's got, uh, looks almost, looks like there's two parts. Like this is a circular part. See the circle there? And this stuff has stuff coming down off of it. And then it reaches out this way and it comes down and kind of squares itself off. And it looks like it's been played with a little bit. You know, who knows? This here, and it caught my eye, this little, uh, this little circle. And I thought at first it might be an image artifact. But when you look at the other image, you know, it could be, may not. Um, that, that's a tough one for me, so I'm just going to ignore that and act like it's not there, even though you've got some strange-looking uh, things next to it. Um, I'm really looking to get at the shape of some of these blocks, and we'll flip it back to how it was. Uh, let's see. Especially, like, this stuff right here. This is just too cool. This looks like just out of something right out of Puma Punku. Yeah, I'm not happy with this look either. Let me go back. When they're dark like this, it's it's hard for me to be happy with these pictures. They're they're coming down. Just 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 uh, they're definitely coming down, and they're just not as sharp as they used to be. I mean, the the resolution on them is just horrible compared to what it was when it first got there. Now that could be uh, you know degradation of the of the of the cameras, but who knows? I mean, I'm thinking that these pictures this this 
just came up. This was saw, what, 530? So they had about 25 to 30 days to mess with these. They were in the thumbnail section, but you couldn't see them, you know, up close. So Anyway, let's take a look at this here. Look at this right here. This to me is interesting as well. See how it's got this S here again? And actually it's got an S pattern right here. And it's got a circle with like the, uh, almost like the uh, breast cancer awareness uh, thing. If you turn it on its side, just notice that right there and uh, the same goes for right here you've got a candy cane looking uh one there as well as that figure eight looking thing there and possibly another one there um and then you've got like i said i had somebody come and say well these aren't perfect cuts or i've never seen a perfect cut on mars or so and you got to understand that some of these things may have been set up there for thousands of years and you can't tell me that this may be broken now, but this right here to here is a perfect cut. Uh, to me, it looks like a perfect cut. And right here, look, this one's almost fully intact. And it comes down, it's got like a little handle or something built into it. Look, it's all the way up, matches up. This looks like something you would find in Puma Punku. Um, or one of, the, you know, one of the other local ones down there. But this definitely uh, seems to have the hallmark of... Uh, some sort of hands other than Mother Nature on it. Uh, something about this one right here seems blurred out. Look at, okay, look, let's do this. This is where I think that NASA is getting us. Some of this comes in a little bit sharper than others. Like this right here, you can see pretty well. But then when you get into this right here, this is really what I want to see because this is as worked and as polished as that looks. This looks like it's just been blurred on out. Um, and you, some people agree with me when I say those things, and some people don't. But that looks to me like this has had something removed from it that we can't see. And uh, if you were to go back and look at the actual uh, piece from the, the the little baby thumbnail, you can't see that small. It just it's way too small. It's below uh, you know it's below the radar. You just you can't blow it up enough to see if that's going to be in there. But check this out. This tell me this doesn't look like it attracted something. It's this here, that there. It's got one, two, three, four cross members. One, two, three. It just looks like it's kind of broken up. Interesting coloring. I think the, the rover's been putting that on it lately. Um, just that ugliness to the color. Let's see if I can desaturate. I'll desaturate here in a second, turn it to black and white, see if that helps at all. And as I go through this stuff, like I, say, I see a bunch of weird stuff in it, but it's so hard to just put here to point out. You know, here's interesting rock. Okay, so this rock comes out here and it's got two little, it looks like antennas that come off of it. So what, you know, and this one comes back and around to another block that's got another perfect 90 degree angle in it. I mean, how many of these these, these perfect looking shapes do we need to find before we say, okay, you know, something's going on here. So, something had busted this stuff at one time. This looks like it was some sort of tub or basin or something and it's sitting like that. It's got this C on it here, you know, kind of like it was been just broken, you know, just like you know, just broken up, just torn apart like the rest of this planet has been. Um, and let's take a look at some of these little things, too. So this stuff just could be normal, you know, normal rocks. But then you get all these squared away, just so much stuff that's got symmetry in it and geometry and it. it's just in it. Now, this was the other thing I was interested in here. Let me see if we can't play around with it a little bit here image adjustment uh, exposure Let's pump that gamma on it here's what I'm going at see how you how I, it's uh, it looks like it's cut out um, and it looks like it goes back and it's rounded off in the back and the front where it's cut you know, equal to the size, it looks like it's uh, got human face or something, it's, or with hair or something along those lines. Something that was, uh, you know, done by the hands of human, or art. You know. Down here, you've got more of uh, more of the what look like hooks and stuff like that. More of just buried in the ground. More things that come out, and they've got 90 degree angles with circles in them. 
Let's see if we've missed anything up here. We haven't looked too much. And I really hope the rover start, they start giving us some, some less blurry pictures. One thing I did see in this picture and I haven't really been able to pull out. Let's see if we can pull this. This right here looks like an anomaly. I can't tell what it is because it looks like it's been blurred and just, you know, colors and weird stuff added to it so we couldn't see it as well as this whole part right here that's next to it but i'm going to go for seeing if we can't adjust some of this junk right here um i'm seeing a mouth and two eyes or something along those lines but you know our, our eyes are reckon we, we are programmed to recognize faces but see how okay here we go see how it's got the uh almost looks like rib cage type etching and crossing and stuff in there haven't seen that in a rock here on earth it almost looks like a honeycomb or something along those lines i don't know guys i see what i see you will see what you see um you know i always love when you guys comment let me know what you're if, if you guys are on the same page with me if you see something else um this this piece right here like i said it's got that little s in it that little o comes up to this piece here this stuff just looks like it's been see the the sand just been piled up on it, um, and who knows how it could have been getting? I think it would, you know, here in the Gale Crater, all this stuff could have been tossed around by water at one time. So wherever everything was, wherever it ended up now, um, you know, it was tossed around by water. Check this out here at the top of this one. You've got a uh, some sort of pitch to it. Here you've got another perfect circle. And what seems to be something next to it, like another perfect circle, but looks to have the blur tool used on it. So what are they blurring out? See that there? See this little circle here? And you've got something here that kind of looks like that. But this seems to be blurred out. How come it looks perfect? You know, not perfect. It's still blurry. How can it be, you know, seen here, but not that blurry, you know, that blurry right there? without them manipulating it. Them, I mean NASA, obviously. If it takes this long to get these pictures out sometime, I start thinking, you know, what is going on? Or why is it taking that long? A lot of the other ones were already up from this uh, Sol. So. And whenever they started adding this, this purpley, green, you know, hue to all these things, I knew we were getting close. And I would not be surprised we're getting close to the mountain if the, like I said, I've said this a bunch of times in the videos, if the uh, rover goes or plunk soon so some interesting stuff guys what do you see if you enjoyed my videos please hit like um, comment share it on your Facebook share it on your other stuff that's helping us get the word out helping get these videos out bringing people to the channel so we're just over 8,000 subscribers I I'm hoping to double that in the next year I know with you guys help and uh, just the universe we're gonna get this information out um, Plus, I, I just know that the people who are really into this stuff are looking into it for a good reason. I mean, they've all of us are drawn to this for something, you know, and we're going to get it out. What's up in the sky at 37? My name is Will. I hope you enjoyed it. Take it easy. Have a wonderful night. Peace.